the, 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 the circumstance of her death was so shocking that it did make the industry that supports the paparazzi really consider it more carefully what it could and couldn't do. Princess Diana's brother, Charles Spencer, speaking out amid Kate Middleton conspiracy theories. Well, I think what you've seen in the last couple of weeks is the palace really trying to take control of the narrative. Charles addressing the recent royal scandal on Sunday with Laura Koonsberg. At one point, he admits, I do worry about what happened to the truth. Do you think the dangers of that online, almost sort of conspiracy world are more potent than the press intrusion that you have fought against? No, I think it was more dangerous back in the day. The Princess of Wales took over Diana's title when King Charles ascended the throne, over 25 years after Diana's death, as she was chased by Britain's infamous pap photographers. And now, the Earl of Spencer compares Kate's ongoing headlines to the height of Diana's never-ending media frenzy. Yeah, if I look back to 97 and Diana's death, I, I think that was so shocking to... The, 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 the circumstance of her death was so shocking that it did make the industry that supports the paparazzi really consider it more carefully what it could and couldn't do. Not because they had a moral judgment, but because it was unacceptable. The rumours on social media have been so outlandish about the Princess of Wales. Everything from her, you know, having gone through bad surgery, cosmetic surgery, to growing out a bad haircut, to being in a coma. I mean, frankly, ludicrous ridiculous and unfounded allegations at a time when she's recovering from what is clearly major abdominal surgery. Kate's Photoshop fail, an absence from the public eye, now social media fodder. Kim Kardashian even joking on Instagram over the weekend, on my way to go find Kate, after Blake Lively shared this comically compromised Snap Friday. So excited to share this new photo I just took today. The irony in all of this was that this photograph was intended to quash all of those conspiracy rumors she took to Twitter and explained that she occasionally uses digital enhancement, but this statement was very clearly designed to do two things, to apologize for any confusion that had been caused and, and to explain that she had used some digital enhancement on that image. But I think that's probably the last word we're going to hear either from the princess or indeed from Kensington Palace on the matter as far as they are concerned. Meanwhile, royal watchers look ahead to next month for Louis's birthday. William and Kate always share new pics of their children to commemorate their special day, begging the question, how will the royals handle things when Louis turns six on April 23rd? Plus, this all comes as rumors swirl over an unconfirmed royal announcement in the coming days. I think by coming onto social media herself and issuing quite a personal and profound apology shows that she is being very authentic and that she obviously felt the need to address the situation. And I think we need to look at this as a princess who's really reframed the rules when it comes to royal photographs, taking pictures of her children and distributing them to the world herself. So she does do things differently, but on this occasion, perhaps um, she did mislead people and she's apologized for doing that. So I don't think it will shatter any trust that the public have in Princess Catherine at all.